Welcome back to Killer Keyboards Made Simple. We got some rockin' music going here, and I'm gonna be sharing more pro tips and more songs with you. Let's get going. Now we're gonna take a look at a major seventh chord. Now the reason we call it the major seventh, in the scale, you can either do one, two, three, four, five, six, and I said major seven, eight, or that blues, one, two, three, four, five, six, flatted seven, eight. The major chord has a distinct sound. It goes. Now we're gonna start by learning what is added to that triad, because we have our basic one, three, five, and the major seventh. Look, it's right next to that one, or the tonic as we call it. That is the root of this chord C. The tonic, one, or root, three, five, and there is the major seven because it's in the scale and it's right next to the eight. Those are the notes. Let's learn them in this position, see them in every key, but then I'm gonna show you one of the pro tips to make it sound great. Here is a C major seventh chord containing all the notes, one, three, five, and major seven. Let's move it up to D. One, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, eight. Let's look at the one, the three, the five. You remember that from one of our other exercises? And right next to the eight is the major seven, so we're gonna add that. Let's take a look at E. One, two, three, four, five, six, major seven. Look, it's right next to the E, and eight. One, three, five, major seven. All the notes of the E major seven. Let's take a look at F. One, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, right next to the F again. So one, three, five, and there it is. There's an F major seven full sound. Here is G, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's the major seven, right next to the one again. One, three, five, major seven chord. Sounds like that, looks like that. Here's the A, one, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, right next to the A. One, three, Five, we recognize our triad, and there is the major seven. Here is the B, one, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, eight. It's gonna be right next to there. One, three, five, major seven. B sounds like that, and here's C again. One, three, five, right next to the C is its major seven. But let's get a pro tip going for ourselves because playing these chords we're going to put our taste into it. We're going to use one of the T's. We're going to make this into Same notes, but played in a different position. There's a great trick to it, and we're going to look at it right now. We have the notes of G major 7, and we are going to omit this tonic note because we've learned how to play the octave on the bottom. So we're going to omit that from it, and we are going to position this major 7 down here. We're just going to take it from the top, move it down to here. Look, it's this black note, first in the series of three, comes right down there. We're going to play that, and we are going to base the root of it, which is the one or the tonic of G. There's our G major seven. We've removed one of the notes from the right hand. 
We're playing it in the left hand, and it, to me, as far as my taste and a lot of other folks go, sounds great. Now we're going to move to another chord in the progression, 1-4, which we'll be using a lot in music. Trust me on this. We're going to move to the C major 7. Looks confusing, but the... Wow! If I omit this C and simply play those notes, it's the 5, the major 7, and the 3, I get that sound for C major 7. To me, sounds better than... I like that sound. So let's put these two together and we'll play it along, a little bit of timing, a little bit of fun, and a progression that we hear a lot in music. The, what they call a one chord and the four chord, both of them major sevens. We're going to learn it by taking the triad of G, drop it down to the major seven, take that finger off there. Now we've made a G major seven with the G in the bass. Now we're going to go to the four chord and all we're going to do is move this finger up one half step and this finger up one full step. And this will be the same in every key. Going to C. Let's take a look again. We had a triad in G. We dropped tonic note, one half step down to get our major seven. Now we have a major seven chord. Now we want to go to another part of this chord progression, which is the four chord, but we're simply going to move the lower finger up one half step and the upper finger up one full step, leaving the middle finger where it is. And bringing our lower note up and the left hand up to the C. Let's do it together. Half step, full step, come up to the C. Back down to the G. So half step down, full step down. Let's add a little timing to it. Play with me. C. And end. Now we're going to do the same thing in A, because we're hanging out with a guitar player today, and he wants to play in A. Not too hard for us, because we're going to make that same approach. We are going to look at the, what we call, tonic root bass note of the chord. We're looking at a brand new chord, which is A. Guitar player wants to play here. Here's our triad. We are going to, remember, we're going to take that triad, move that lower note down one half step to form the pro sounding major seven. Now, part of this progression, one, two, three, four. So our progression is one, one, four, four, one, just like we did in, this, in the G. We're gonna go up to this A, triad, half step down, first part of the major seven chord, progression. Now we're going to go to the one, two, three, four. We are going to come up one half step with the lower finger. We are going to go up one full step, leaving the middle finger in the same position. And back down. Once again, starting with the triad and A, half step down gives us that major seven. Leave the middle finger where it is go up to the four, in this case is D, one half step on the bottom, leave the middle where it is, full step up on the right. Now let's play that song, 
add the timing. And end. Major seven, pro sound. Now you've heard me talk about the major seven because it's part of the major scale. Major seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Major seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Major seven, eight. But what about that blues sound? That flatted seventh. Well, it's a half a step below the major seven. It's one full step below the tonic or the eight up there. You can see it because it's right next to it. Let's take a look at C, build the seventh chord using that flatted seventh for our blues sound. Let's start with the tonic of C. It's third, it's fifth, and the flatted seventh. It's one half step below that major note. Let's go up and take a look at all of them, and then I'm gonna give you that pro tip to make it have great tone, and we're gonna use our taste to play it differently, and we'll be able to put it into our songs. So let's start with C. One, three, five. There's the major seven, there's the tonic major. Come back down, here is the seventh. They refer to it as a flatted seventh, dominant seventh, seventh chord. We'll call it whatever we want, it sounds like that. Let's do the same thing in D. One, two, three, four, five. There's our triad. One, three, five. Here is the tonic or eight again. There was our major seven. Let's come down to the flatted seven. Sounds like that in D. One, three, five, seven. Sounds like this in C. One, three, five, seven, D. Let's locate the notes in E. Here's our tonic, our one, whatever you want to call it. We're at one, two, three, and the five. There's our triad. We're going to look at the octave up here, come down past the major seven, and we're going to find the flatted seven, the blues seven the dominant seven. Sounds like that. Let's go to F and take a look at it. It's the one, three, five triad. Let's locate that flatted seventh. Here's the one major seventh. There's flatted seventh, a full step below it, which means you skip a note and go to the. That's what it sounds like in F. Let's go to G, locate the flatted seventh, one, there's our triad, and there's the flat seventh. Look, looks like that, the full seventh chord of G. Let's do that in A. One, two, three, four, five, there's our triad. One, three, five, there it is, there is that octave A up there, come one full step down if you want to call it, or look at the major seven, and there we are at the flatted seven. Looks like that in A, sounds like that. Here's B. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the one, three, five. Here's the B octave. Come down past the major seven, one full step, and there's B7. Sounds like that. And we're back to one, three, five. 
seven of C. Let's learn a pro tip right here. When we're playing songs, doesn't sound as good as the reason I'm sounding different here is that I am leaving that tonic or one the basic note of the chord out of the chord and allowing my left hand or the bass player or guitar player or someone else do it to open up a little bit of air. And that's what pros do. They don't want to fill every sound. No, you don't have to hear every sound. You might want to open it up and get this. Now let's look at C and how we're doing that to get a nice open C7. Here is our triad, one, three, five. We did this before on the major seven. We can do it on the flatted seven too. Here's the triad, one, three, five. There's our flatted seven up there. Let's move it on down to here. Just bring it down and bring our thumb down to play that. Allow the left hand to play the tonic note of C. We're not gonna play it in the right hand. All we did was move the triad. Instead of down to the major, which we did, we're going down to the flatted seventh and it sounds like this. Triad, pass the major seven down to that flat. One full step, you're gonna to get to know that one. It's a good step, it's a good thing to know. Rooting the note, C chord. Get comfortable, put that under our hands, and let's do that in D. Try the triad, remember we did this, this was a full, and with the seventh, we're simply going to take the triad of D, one, three, five, move down one, what they call full step. Two half steps make a full step. Here we go. And we're gonna use that D, we're gonna move it down to the left hand, and we're gonna get this sound for D seventh. Sounds different than This is our triad, full step down. This is our triad of D, full step down, gives us the seventh, and we move the tonic down to the left hand. That's the sound. Let's do it in E. Here's our triad. We located that seventh, so we know that we take the triad, move the tonic note, or the E in this case, down to the slatted seventh, one full step, and root it down here in E. Sounds like that. Triad, full step down, gives us that right hand, and put the tonic of E down here. Let's do it in F. Here's our triad. We located the seventh up there. We can also locate it this way by moving the F one full step. You go half step, full step. Now we have the right hand complete for F. The right hand is complete. Let's take that F and put it on the left hand. Now we have that pro sounding F seven chord. F seven. Now let's do that in G. We're going to take the triad, we know that's the seven, or simply take the tonic, move it down one full step, half step, full step. Now we have the right hand in G. A triad, full step down, drop it. There's our right hand, seventh chord in G. Take the tonic, move it down here to our left hand. We have a G7 chord. Let's do it in A, triad. We saw the seventh up here. Let's just find it this way by dropping down Wolf one full step. There's A7, right hand. We're gonna take that tonic and we're gonna move it down to our left hand here, A. Here's top and bottom 
A7. Play it again. Let's do it in B. Here's the triad, one, three, five. We're gonna drop that one full step down, that tonic note down one full step to get to the seventh. We're going to take that tonic or one and put it down here in our left hand. There is the B7. B7 sounds like that. A7. G7. F7. We're going to do it slowly, don't worry. D7. C7. Let's do it one more time. Right up, triad of C, drop to the seven. Put the C on the bottom. C7. Let's move up. Start thinking about D, triad. Move down to the seven with the thumb. Put it down in our left hand. D7. Let's look at E. Triad, drop that one full step down to make the right hand seventh chord and root with our left hand E. Let's do it in F. Triad, full step down, half step, full step, and bring that root down to our left hand. There's our F7. Let's go up to G, triad, full step down, not the major, but the flatted seven, right hand, bring that tonic down here on G. In A, triad, one, three, five, bring it down one full step on that thumb. We have the A seven in the right hand, use the A in the bass, bass player, guitar player, whoever's doing it, or you. There you are, you got your a7 chord, here comes B, triad, one, three, five, drop the lower tonic down one full step from there to there. There we have the right hand of B7, bring that tonic root down to our left hand, there's B7, back to the top, we're at C, triad, full step, root. B, A7, G7, F7, E7, D7, back down to C7. Let's move up the keyboard and down the keyboard and we'll go at our own rate to D, to E, to F, to G, to A, to B, and back to C. F7, C, the seventh chord. Now let's take a look at the minor seventh chord. Again, we find this in many, many songs, and we're going to learn the basic minor seventh chord and the parts of it, and then we're going to learn the pro sound and the way to take sounds out, open it up, and make it sound like the chords we're going to use in songs. Let's take a look at the basic building block of a minor seventh chord. 
Well, we learned the minor triad. I'm doing it here in C. It's the one, here's the major third, we're flatting that third. Now to make a minor seventh, we are going to add that flatted seventh that we just learned in our dominant chord, but it looks like this, because it has that minor, the minor seventh. Let's do it in C. One, minor third, there was the major third, there's the fifth, let's drop that to the minor. And remember, here's that octave, tonic, come down one full step, there's our seventh. Completely different sound than the dominant seventh chord, it's a minor seventh chord. Let's play it again. One, minor three, five, and the seventh. Dominant seventh. Let's do it in D. We're going to start thinking in D here. The one. There's the triad that we know so well. Bring that half step down to make the minor. Here is the octave of D. The tonic again. We come down one full step. There is that flatted seventh. And this becomes the minor seventh. All the notes of the minor seventh. One, minor three, five, and that flatted seventh in D. Let's do it in E. One, three, five. Remember, here's our major in E. One, two, three, four, five. One, three, five. And bring this third down to make it a minor. And let's find the tonic up here, the octave. There it is. Going to come out one full step. Here is our E minor seventh. Sounds like that and looks like that. Minor triad with a seventh. Let's do that in F. We're going to base ourselves. Here is the tonic of F. One, three, five. Remember, one, two, three, four, five. One, three, five. Drop the third. Down one half step to get that minor. There's our minor sound. Now here's that octave of F and come down one full step and there's our seventh. That is an F minor seventh. Let's go to G. We have our one, three, five that we know. We drop that third down to a minor chord. We find that tonic up here and drop down one full step and there's our seventh. G minor seventh. Let's look at A minor seventh. Here's the major triad that we know. Take that third, one, three, five, and drop it down one half step to become A minor. And look at the eight octave tonic A up at top. Drop it down one full step and we have a minor seventh. Now let's look at B. Here is our B major triad that we know. We go down to the minor triad, which we have learned by taking the third down one half step. And here is the high octave or eight tonic again of B. We're dropping down one full step, skipping a note. There is B minor seventh. Let's start on C again, just so we see where the notes are. Triad, minor, and seventh. C minor seven. Let's do D. Triad, minor. Find the seventh. There's D minor seventh. E, the triad down a half step to get the minor, come off that one, the octave up there, one full step. E minor seventh. Let's do F. Triad, half step down, minor, there's our octave, come down one, full step, 
There's F minor 7th. Up to G. 1, 3, 1 minor 3, 5. There's the octave, one full step. There's G minor 7th. A. Remember our triad? Down to a minor triad. Here's the tonic, or the 8. Up at the octave, come down one full step. A minor 7th. Do it in B. 1, 3, 5. Make the minor, drop down a half. There's the octave, come down one full step. B minor 7th. So, C minor 7th. With me. D minor 7th. 1, 3, 5. Flat at 7th. E minor 7th. 1 minor 3, 5. 7. F minor 7. 1 minor 3, 5 and 7. G minor 7th. 1 minor 3, 5 and it's 7. Located in A. 1 minor 3, 5. And the seventh, one full step down. And in B, one minor three, five, and it's seven, flat at seven, one full step. C, D, E minor, F minor, G minor seven. A minor 7, B minor 7, and back to C minor 7. Now those are all the notes that are in the minor 7th chord, but we're going to do a pro tip now to get you playing a tasty version of this chord. You remember what we did with the major 7? And with the dominant seventh chord, we took that tonic out and moved it down to the left hand for the bass player, for someone else to play, or we play it. It gives us a, an open sound that we like. Let's take a look at G minor seventh and apply our pro tip. Here we have all the notes of a G minor seven. Now, Applying what we learned there on the other chords, we're going to take this tonic and move it down one full step, therefore omitting that sound to be played by our left hand. So here is that seventh move down one full step. So the G minor seventh that looks like that, that top note's going to come down here. This tonic note, or the one root of G, is going to be in the left hand. And it sounds like that. G minor 7th, pro inversion, sounds like that, as opposed to that sound. Let's look at it again taking that seventh and moving our thumb down to it, omitting it and taking the tonic down here. Let's do that in A. We just learned an A minor seventh, full, one minor three five, and it's dominant seventh because it's one full step away from the tonic, the octave. Let's bring that down, drop our tonic note down to the seventh. Now we have the right hand built. We're going to take that A and move it down here for our left hand to play. A minor seventh. Again, we took the triad. We moved down one full step and took that tonic and moved it down to our left hand giving us the A minor 7th open pro sound. 
Let's do it in B. We have one, minor three, five, seven, the full seventh chord, take that seventh, move it down by moving the tonic to here. Tonic goes down to the left hand. B minor seven. Let's do it in C. Remember one minor three five, seven, because it's one full step away there. There's the notes. But our simple way of doing it is minor triad, drop the tonic C, down one full step. There we have the minor seventh open chord. What do we do with the C? We take it and move it to our left hand and play it like this. G minor seven pro sound. Remember, we took the tonic, moved it down one full step, and removed it to our left hand. Let's do it in A. Minor triad, drop down one full step, and move the tonic to our left hand. Let's do it in B. Triad, minor triad, drop one full step, take that tonic and put it down here on the bottom. Let's do it in C. Triad, drop the tonic down to the seventh, and play the tonic in our left hand. C minor seven. Let's do it in D. We had a D triad. We drop down one full step. It gives us our right hand. Here's the minor seventh chord. What are we gonna do with this tonic? right down here in the left hand. And we'll end on E by playing the minor triad, dropping one full step, minor triad and E, one full step, and removing that tonic down to our left hand. G minor seven. A minor seven. B minor seven, C minor seven, D minor seven, E minor seven, F minor seven, and back to G minor seven. Each time we start with a triad and move down one full step, that tonic goes to the left hand. That's the way we would build the pro sound minor seventh chord. Well, let's take a look at that first song we did today. I played it for a reason. I didn't just, you know, come out of the thin air for nothing. There was a reason for doing that song because not only is it a popular progression, it's also something that speaks to what we've just learned here today of chords. Major triad, major triad, major triad, and it brings other chords into it. That's right, we're gonna get simple. We're gonna make the simple things that we've learned work for us. Right now, we're gonna look at that progression that I played. I'll break it down for you. It went. We're in the key of G. Let's take a look at that. We'll, we'll inspect everything about it, but let's look where I am. I'm playing G, and then there's a minor chord. But wait, I'm not gonna worry about the minor chord. I'm just gonna keep playing that G and change the root. Now here comes another minor chord, but I'm not gonna play a minor chord. I'm gonna go to, to this and play a new root. And now I'm gonna play a new bass note and go to a D, what they call a sus chord. Wow, I just got a lot of work out of two chords. I got four chords out of them. Let's take a look at why that happens, and we'll go up our scale and take a look at how to do that easily every single time, and play a tune, get rolling, get rocking, get comfortable. 
Here's this first triad that we started with in key of G. Let's take a look at this. I'll, I'll, I'll do it here in G because that was the song, but we'll move on up, move on up. It's just fine in the guitar player keys especially. Let's look at the G. One, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, eight. We've done it before. I'll slow it down, but you can do it anytime you want. Have fun with them too. Here's the G. One, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's my triad. I'm going to play this triad in G. Now I'm going to play only the four chord. Only the four chord major close voicing like we did before. And you'll see why we're going to do it. One, two, three, four. It's a C. And I'm going to move the closest voicing up to the three, five, and one. And that's a C chord. But this C chord becomes another chord. You'll see what it is right here. Hold the G for two movements. We're going to do one in G. Now hold that chord again, and I'm going to move down to what they call the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is a minor chord, but we don't have to learn the minor right now. We just have to play that G again and put that root on the bottom. So, so far we've gone this. But on the bottom, I've taken the G, the one, and gone down to the six. Remember, it goes up from here. Six is the same. That looks like that, looks like that. So, goes to the one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to go to another minor chord that we don't know, but we already do know it because we know the four chord. In the major triad, one, two, three, four is, is a C. We're going to move this up, put that on top. So, so far we did a G and a second chord in G. Now I'm going to move to the very closest inversion of this four chord, the C. And I'm going to play a two, which is a minor on the bottom, same chord on top. And now I'm going to play a, the last chord in the series of this progression, a five chord, one, two, three, four, five. But I'm going to keep that C chord in it, the four chord, and you get this. This probably sounds familiar to you. Oh, I could play it. Sounds a little corny to me. I'd rather play it like. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? Well, let's do this in G, and then we could move into some guitar player keys and get comfortable with those guys, too. Make friends with the guitar player, always, and the singer, too. So here is the one. Again, we're only playing these two chords. And so it's a one chord, which is G triad, a four chord, which is a one, two, three, four, a C triad. Remember, we close voiced it. We just moved them around. It could be there, it could be there, but we're choosing this one because it's close. We're going to do the G to a one, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom. Don't move the top hand. Now we're going to go to a two on the bass, one, two. And we're going to move to the four chord against that, which is going to marvelously make a minor seventh chord. And we're not going to move the right hand. We're going to stay right there for that tight, pro sounding voicing. And we're going to go to the one, two, three, four, five. So here's our song. Have fun with it. Now, that's the way we did it in G. That was where I chose to do it. But wait, we got a guitar player in the room. 
He doesn't like G, he wants to play it in A. Oh, no sweat. We simply take the same rules. We have learned the Chuck Berry rule. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know the intervals. We know them. We can get a hold of a triad. We're playing in the key of A. So now we've set a new mindset. We've moved our brains whoop, up to here. We're in A. Here's the one. Here's the octave of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So to start that triad, to do that same progression with the guitar player who wants to play an A, we've got a triad of A. One, two, three, four, four five. Move that five down the bottom because we're going to do a nice close voicing. Now we're only going to play the four chord. We're going to play this twice and then the four chord twice to get four chords. Here's the A, A, so the A to the second chord, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's your six. Don't move the right hand. It's do, let this finger or the bass player do the work for you. There's your second chord in the progression. Now we're just going to move our right hand up to the four chord to get two more chords out of it. One, two, three, four. There's the four. And it's one, three, five, eight. Move that up there. Close voicing. There was the A again. Five, one, and three. Then we're going to move up to the closest voicing in the four chord. Three, five, one, or eight, however you want to look at it. Let's do that a couple times. To the four chord. One chord worth two chords. Another chord worth two more chords. Here we go. Play it. Here we go for the progression. Remember, twice on this chord, twice on this chord is going to get us four chords. In the A on the root, leave that chord right where it was. Don't move that right hand. Down to the one, two, three, four, five, six. There's the six, and it becomes a minor just by holding that and by playing the root. Here comes the two chord, which is going to naturally be one, two. So we'll go to the four chord, root it on the bottom. Don't move that right hand, just move one, two, three, four, five to the five chord, five bass, sorry. And it will naturally be, they call it a sus seven, sus nine. Let's look at it one more time. A chord, A chord, D chord, D chord, which is the one and four in A, gives us root on the bottom, move to the six on the bottom, change the chord to the four, but play the two on the bottom, and now go to the five on the bottom, keeping that same. Put a little rhythm to you, you got a song. Let's move on up to another key that the guitar players like, B. There's our triad. Move that, or the fifth down to the bottom. Now we have a B chord. Same triad, but it sounds like this. Remember, we're going to do two times of this chord. Now we're just going to move to a full four chord. One, two, three, four. In B, one, two, three, four, which is E. So there you are, twice on that chord. Here's B again. Five, one, three. Twice on that chord. Twice on the four chord, which is E. Three, five, eight. And on the bottom, Brand new day, we're looking at one on B and a six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a six, which is going to become a minor chord. And one, two, that's going to be the third chord in the progression, which is, remember we went one, four, so one, play it again with the six in the bottom. Now we go one up to the two, and now we go to the five chord, holding that same on the top. All we did was move our bottom finger four notes and our top chord twice. Let's go up to C. Triad. One, two, three, four, five. There's our triad. Move that five down the bottom to get that nice voicing that we can hold and play only two chords. One chord, the C twice, and we're gonna play the one, two, three, four, which is the F twice. So, three, five, one. Do this again. Now in the key of C, we got a new brain going on. We got the C, one, two, three, four, five, six, plays the second chord. We're going to change our upper hand. We're going to make that four chord. One, two, three, four. Remember we went. So this time it's going to be the one, two chord. And the five on the bottom makes it end the progression. So one, six, two, five, chord, 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 new chord. Okay, we're going to go up to the key of D. New mindset. For the moment, we're thinking in D. Here is our D triad. Move it down so the fifth is on the bottom. Gets that voicing we want to do this song with. Remember the two chords are one. And then the four chord, one, two, three, four, which is a G. Same intervals. D, five, one, three. We have two chords. Let's do it a couple times so we're comfortable. Once again, on the bottom, one, six, two, and five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. To the six, holding that chord the same as on the right. Two chords only. Left hand. Song. Now let's do that same progression in E, the next step up, another favorite key of guitar players. Always make friends with the guitar player. And it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in E. And we're going to get a triad with a five on the bottom in E. We're going to keep that for the second chord, which is going to be the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, so far you've played E. Stayed with the right hand and went to the six. Now we're going to go to the upper hand. Is going to play the four chord, which is one, two, three, four, which is an A, three, five, eight. But we're going to the two in the bottom. Bass notes giving us a nice minor. Now we're going to go to the one, two, three, four, five. Keep that upper hand right. Let's do it again on the upper. Adding the bass. Change. 
G upper only. Mess around with it. So that's in E. Now we're going to do F. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember the intervals? Use our brains on F. Do that scale. Go one, two, three, five. There's our beginning chord. Rooted on the bottom. Play it again with the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get the second chord. Now we go to the two on the bottom with a four chord, which is one, two, three, four, which is B flat. Keep that upper hand, upper right hand the same. And then one, two, three, four, five on the bottom. So one, go down to the six in the bottom, two in the left hand, four chord. With me. Back to G. We did it before. Upper, 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 two chords. Bring it down one octave. Where we started, change to the four. Bottom hand goes. Four chords, two hand positions. Just like that, you got a song. Well, we sure have come a long way together, working on notes, chords, songs, progressions. It feels really great to be doing this and sharing this time and all the pro tips with you. When we get back together, we'll be doing more killer keyboards and we're gonna have a blast doing it and we're gonna keep it simple.